Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Welcome to year three of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher, and write us a review. Today's selection concludes Surah 15, Al-Hijr, or the Rocky Tract, verses 80 through 99. These verses discuss the fate of the people of Hijr for their disbelief. The seven verses worthy of oft recitation and an admonition to proclaim the commandments of God publicly. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. The people of Hijr also denied their messenger. We gave them our signs, but they ignored them. They hewed their homes in the mountains for safety, but the mighty blast seized them one morning, and all their labor of building their homes through carving the rocks did not avail them. We have not created the heavens and the earth, and all that lies between them, but to manifest the truth. The hour of doom is sure to come, so overlook their misbehavior in a gracious manner. Surely your Lord is the all-knowing creator. We have given you the seven verses that are worthy of recitation over and over again. That's a reference to Surah Al-Fatiha and the glorious Quran. Do not look at the worldly wealth which we have given to different people among them, nor grieve at their condition. Leave them alone. Attend to the believers in kindness and tell the unbelievers, Surely I am only a plain warner. This warning is like the warning which we sent down to the schismatics, the ones who divided their Quran into separate parts, believing in some and denying others. So by your Lord, we will question them all about their doings. Therefore, proclaim publicly what you are commanded and turn away from the mushakin, or those who associate others with Allah. Surely we ourselves will suffice for you against those who scoff. Those who place other deities alongside Allah will soon come to know their folly. We know that your heart is distressed by what they say against you. The cure of your heart's distress is that you should celebrate the praises of your Lord and be of those who prostrate themselves before him and worship your Lord until there comes to you that which is certain, or death. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.